back at Wembley. We've had some great nights at Wembley. This will be the same, surely. Big arena, big fight, big time. Big arena, big fight, big time. You said it. You said it three times, so hopefully that's the same. On the night, AJ, what do you most look forward to? Or do you not look forward to any of it? What, is, there, is there one particular point you like when you get there, when you've got your bandages on, when you're doing the last three minutes, the walk? What is, what is it that you most like about those big nights? So there's a time when you're standing behind the curtains or you're standing behind the big screen. Little do the people know in front of that big screen that you're waiting there. They know you're coming, but they don't know when you're coming. And then one of the production teams say, AJ, 10 seconds. And I say, I'm ready. And they open that screen and I step out into 96,000 people roaring. And it's my gladiatorial moment when it's me versus one man in the ring to prove who the best is. And that's when I find it spine tingling. I'm like, let's go. How did you prepare for that the first time that happened? Because it's all very well knowing it might happen, but how did you prepare for it? I'm an um, instinctive competitor. I'm quite rough and rugged. So it's a fight and I have no fear and I've got nothing to lose. For me, where I sit, I've got nothing to lose. So I, I'm ready. I'm ready. Let's go. But you have got history to make. And does that matter to you that you'll be walking with giants, men like Lennox, men like Ali, greatest heavyweights in history that have won that world heavyweight title three times. And also in your case, would have won it three times against active champions. It would be brilliant, but that's not my main focus. That's not my main focus. What's your main focus? Performance. Performance is the main focus. When you're with Ben Davison and, and, and Lee Wiley, when, when you're with them talking about the fight, do you do that? in the gym or do you do that once you've showered in like a sitting in a sort of relaxed environment having a cup of tea when do you do it the start of the session the middle after and then when i come back we have a, a meeting about our previous session then we go into the gym and then have a conversation conversate through the training and then talk after and then sometimes we speak on the phone but I'm back in the gym in the next like 12 hours anyway. So sometimes they give me my space, but I also go home and um, I do visual learning as well. So even though they're not speaking to me, I'm still having to study. So it's quite like 24, 24 hour, but 16 hour a day job. And you like that? I need it because it's fine margins in this game. I'm not here to say I'm the most talented fighter. I'm not Sugar Ray Robinson. You know, Henry Armstrong, I'm, I'm not saying I'm cut from that cloth, they're phenomenal fighters. Um, so what I have to do is do the extra work in order to make up and just become a standard fighter of our great heavyweight history that there's been, there's been some great fighters. So all I need to do is work extremely hard just to come close to these guys. You've always done that. You've always referred back to the great heavyweights yeah. and the great fighters. Yeah. But it just seems that your relationship in Harlow with Ben and Lee has taken that to a whole new level of intensity. But we, we don't want to disregard like Sean Murphy, John Oliver. Of course not. Rob McCracken, um, Angel Fernandez, Joby Clayton, uh, Robert Garcia that have helped me, Virgil Hunter. I don't want to miss out anyone. Um, Derek James. They've been phenomenal coaches. Now I found myself back in back in England working with some phenomenal coaches once again. And look, I never forget when everyone was getting onto me saying, he's changing coaches, he don't need a coach, he just needs to motivate himself and all that type of stuff. Did you realise quite early when you were working with Ben that he believed in you? When did you did you did you get that sense that he really believed in you? is after I lost to Usyk for the second time. And uh, you saw a side of me that, that just wants to win. Mm. That's what he said. He took it as he saw someone who was hurt because you can see someone that just wants to win. And he said that he knew he could help. He knew he could help. And um, we started speaking not long after that. And um, I'm, I'm with him now and he's helped me. He's helped me a lot. Look, Otto Wallin, People can say what they want to say, 
But look, if I didn't prepare properly, that would have been a tough fight. Mm. Francis Ngannou, MMA fighter. He's not an elite boxer. Of course not. But he knows what he's doing. We saw that in October when he fought Tyson Fury. And if I didn't prepare properly, that would have been a lot tougher fight. Mm. But due to preparation with the team that I have, I'm able to dispatch of those last two opponents in good fashion. Mm. And um, we tend to pay every opponent the respect they deserve, like we have with Daniel. And um, God willing, things go in the same fashion. What does Daniel bring to the table? What are his assets and what are his weaknesses? I can only talk about his strengths because weaknesses is going to give me a full sense of confidence. His strengths are probably, like I wouldn't reel off everything now, mm. but one of the things that people mention a lot is, is his punch power. Mm. However, what I truly believe is punch power is a small aspect of boxing. And I truly believe that it takes will, spirit, hunger, that overrides any punch power that anyone can bring to you. Because if you just refuse to give up, you refuse to be hurt, you refuse to step back, someone could throw anything at you in life. And if you refuse to, if you refuse to step back, I think that you can go on and do amazing things. And that's exactly where my mind is. So one of his biggest attributes, what I've heard, will not bother me. It seems to me, AJ, and I've been around you an awful lot in fight week, I've an awful lot of fights, that you are possibly more focused than I've ever seen you. Do you know what it is? I've seen you serious before, but focused is slightly different. I've taken the approach in training. You live how you train. That's my job. I fight how I train. I've stepped up my training, my work ethic, my attention to detail. And um, look, I want to win. I've got a purpose as to why I want to win and um, it's important to me and, um, and I'm going to do it. It's an odd thing to say to, to you in your position about to win a world title for the third time. Have you been shown enough respect to build up to this fight? I don't, I don't ever want any respect. I'm normal. Mm -hmm. I'm like the man on the street. I'm no different from like anyone that I shake hands with. You know, so I don't, I don't actually want any respect from anyone, especially not in this game, especially not in this game. You know what I want to do? I want to earn it. I don't want it given to me. I want to earn it. And i got a chance to do that on Saturday. But you've been earning it. No, nah, that, that's um, professional. all history. So it's starting again almost. Every fight. That's what I'm saying. People are like, oh, you've got more experience. I'm like, that's in the past. What's experience to a man that's coming to try and take my head off? It's all on the night. Exper Everything that I've done previously gets wiped out. It's a fresh start. Every time that first, that's why it's called the first bell. Because that first bell is the start of something mm -hmm. new. Past is the past. This is the present. I'm going to be present on Saturday. Now, Daniel's had um, sort of a, a bit of a roller coaster career. Lots of. Not really. You know, you know he had, the, he had, the, he had that, that bit in the middle where there were a couple of fights. And but who doesn't that happen to, him. though? It can happen, you're, you're all human. But his last couple of fights have been good performances. And who doesn't that happen to who as finishes? well? That happens to a lot of fighters as well. People have bad people have good performances, people have bad performances. But all of that's irrelevant again. Yeah. It's all about on the night. I'm a different beast. You're a different beast to him or you're a different beast a to different the Anthony Joshua from two years I'm, ago? I'm a different beast to Philip Hergovic. Mm. Yeah, you're a different beast to Philip Hergovic and different beast to Big Big Baby Miller. Yeah, definitely. Mm. And he's he... a different beast to Ngannou, different beast to Wallin. So mm. all those performances are irrelevant because I've got a fresh man in front of me that I have to conquer. This determination, this kind of yeah. um, this 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 selfless approach that you that you've that you've that you've got now. You've always had aspects of that, but it, does it feel to you like it's all coming together? That you know you're becoming more and more, well, mature, I suppose is the word I'd use. I'm definitely I mean, more mature. You've not got any grey hairs yet, but you know what I mean. I'm definitely more mature, but um, it's always been there, Steve. It's always yeah. been there. From a young age, I've been working hard and wanting to achieve in my life. And I've got an opportunity. So with this opportunity, I don't take them lightly because I've been on the other end where no one's, no one's giving me a look in. 
You know what I mean? I've been on that side of the fence where no one's given me a look in. So you give me an opportunity, mm. give me one opportunity, I'm going to take it seriously mm. because I don't want to be on the other side of the fence again. Mm. I want to be the guy on the other side of the fence that's unlocking the lock to let everyone in. You know, I've got purpose. That's why I like to do charity work. That's why I like doing things with communities and stuff because that's my job. But, but a lot of that stuff, AJ, this is not a criticism, this is an observation. A lot of that stuff you do, and I know, I know what you do, we don't get in the media to report it. So, so I mean, it's a, lot, a lot of it, I mean, it's fantastic. I know, I know, yeah. I know, I know the stuff you do, but- I've are... always found it interesting because if I was to show you, if I was to get online and I showed you 50 diamond chains, my diamond watch, million in cash, big car, and I'm like, yeah, we're outside living life, doing what I do, doing things that you can't do. I'm levels, I'm the big boss, big Josh, respect me. That'll go viral. Mm. But if I do something, go to a school, let's say, spend some time with some troubled youth, one kid gets inspired and changes his life. Why is he putting that on the internet for? <laughs> <laughs> but each of their own, innit? I just think that, do whatever you like, but also do good. Mm. It's important because what it can do, have a ripple effect and it can change one person who then can change 10 people in the community. Mm -hmm. And then that one person from that 10 changes 20 and it has a massive ripple effect. So that's why I think it's good to post the, the whips, the chains, and also good to showcase that you're all doing good to help and inspire other people because I was inspired. My cousin took me to the gym. I became inspired. Now I'm opening the door for thousands of people. And I know that there's people that are doing the same thing off of the back of what I'm doing. And it's, it's phenomenal, man. Honestly, I see it. I'm, I'm there with the I people. I hear about it. Yeah, I'm there with them firsthand and I see it and like, it's, it's just, it's good. That's what I enjoy doing. Is it important to you to win and win in style? I mean, it's yeah. not quite prediction, but is it, is it important to you to win and look good doing it? Yeah, because when I've been reading books and stuff, the thing is with our sport in a gladiatorial fashion, in a historical fashion, if you get in the ring and I make it boring, no one's going to want to see that, unfortunately. So I owe it to the public, the paying public, to go out as a fighter. I'm a fighter. To go out there as a fighter, a gladiator, a warrior, a fighter, to go out there and demonstrate my abilities that I can decapitate my opponent. And that's why people should tune in and watch on Saturday night, because you're making that's not, a promise. That's not why they should tune in. That is why they tune in. <laughs> you get what I mean? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that is why, because I try, I try. I try, I'm going to try, I'm going to keep trying. Now I have to ask you the question that I always say asking at the end of interviews in fight yeah. week. Can you look beyond Dubois? Can no. you see some, some unbelievable nights or is it absolutely midnight Saturday is the end of your vision? Um, good question. I'm a fighter for life. This is just what I do. Opportunity is always going to present themselves. But the biggest, the biggest thing I'm concentrating on is Daniel Dubois mm. and Don Charles and the rest of his team, I'm concentrating. Because I'm not just going up against Daniel, I'm going up against his team. Mm. And Don Charles knows you? Yeah, but that, he, 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 I've trained at his gym. I we used to spar with Chisora, um, a great British icon. And then he banned me from his gym and that was the end of it. So I don't know how much he knows me. <laughs> but um, look, I'm a different man now. Mm. I'm experienced, I'm tough, mm. I'm hardened. I've always been that way. Don knows I've put in a lot of miles, a lot of work. Mm. He knows where I've come from. He's seen that young kid that catching the bus to his gym, working hard, staying there over time, asking him, can I get the key so I can open up the gym early? He knows what this means to me and that's probably about it. And I know what this means to him as well because he's worked hard. Mm. He's wanted a world champion, he's got one. But there's a difference between becoming a world champion and keeping a world championship. It's two different things. Now their work begins.